Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Glad, and I'm a board certified plastic surgeon practicing in Morristown, New Jersey at the Premier Plastic Surgery Center of New Jersey. I did my original medical school training at the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine, and I stayed on at Penn to undergo specialized training in general surgery and plastic surgery at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. And what's amazing about this place is that I had significant experience training at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia as well. Following my time at Penn, which was considerable, I went on to do specialized training at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. And that was a fantastic experience as well. And it provided me with an intensive amount of training. What really excites me about being honored in multiple categories is it gets to what I love most about my specialty of plastic surgery. And that's the diversity of it. The thing about plastic surgery is we work on all different parts of the body. And I truly do specialize in plastic surgery of the face, breast, and body. One of the great things about performing body work is you can do multiple procedures at once. So sure, there's plenty of people that will just need or want a breast augmentation or a breast reduction or a tummy tuck, but many people, particularly those whose bodies have been affected after having children, will require multiple parts being addressed. And the nice thing is that we could do it at the same time. Performing these procedures at the same time is typically referred to as a mommy makeover. And that can entail lots of things. It is a catchphrase, but it can include a breast augmentation or a breast reduction, depending on the needs of the patient. It almost always involves a tummy tuck or abdominoplasty, as well as some liposuction of various parts of the body. And it could include other things as well. But the breast and the body together is the most common combination, particularly in what we call a mommy makeover. Now, this gets at what I love most about plastic surgery. Of course, I do a lot of facial plastic surgery. I do facelifts, neck lifts, eye lifts, brow lifts, and I enjoy it all very much. But I would say the breast and body work is probably what I'm best known for, and it's what I do the most amount of. That's because the need is greatest in this area. Now, one of the things involved in staying at the very top of your game, particularly in plastic surgery in our specialty, is making sure that you're up on all the latest techniques and all the latest trends. And I try really hard to do that. And it's important to make sure I do that really for my patients in order to make sure that they're getting the best care possible. Now, a really good example of that is all of the recent news with breast implants. It seems like there's a new breast implant story in the media almost daily. And it's important that I know what's going on, but that I'm actively involved in all of what's happening in breast implant world. And I pride myself on being in a position such as that. Not only am I a private practitioner practicing in New Jersey, but I also try to stay fairly academic as well. This year, for instance, I was particularly honored to be made the president of the Northeastern Society of Plastic Surgeons. This is a plastic surgery academic society in which all the latest in research and new developments is discussed. And I've been actively involved in the society for many years. And it involves plastic surgeons from Maine to DC, from New York out to Pittsburgh, and all the programs in between. So this was a tremendous honor for me and something that I'm very proud of, but it actively helps my patients by keeping me on top of everything happening in plastic surgery. In our practice, we strive to provide the best patient experience possible. There's a certain level of customer service that comes along with that, but our patients pretty much need to feel and know that they are being taken care of in the best way possible. And that is incredibly important to me and incredibly important to my staff. My staff is among the best staff that you'll find anywhere. And you should feel really great coming through the office. A typical consultation will indeed begin with me. I don't have screeners. I don't have somebody else speaking to you. I will sit down with you and I will spend time figuring out why you came in to see me. We'll talk a little bit about what brought you in, what your concerns are, and what specifically you're looking to treat and also what specifically you're looking for your outcome to be. And that's very important because I'm not here to provide what I think should be done. I'm not here to provide what I think my picture in my mind should be done. I really want to hear from my patients about what they're looking for. My job is to produce a result consistent with what my patients are looking for. As long as it's realistic, as long as it's appropriate, I should be able to achieve it. And that's what we're looking to do. However, it's so much more than that. Everybody from the people who answer the phones to the people you meet when you walk into the office and leave the office, my nurse, my coordinators, my whole staff is here to really help you feel comfortable and help you through this process. And I believe they do that better than anybody around. 